Woo, look at the brightness here. What is up guys, Pat Shadwick. Oh, where'd that go? Back again with another video. My little sister has just come back from holiday in Turkey. Her, mum, dad, and my uncle left me by myself in the UK so that they can go thingy. No, I'm joking. I could have gone, but I just said, no, I'm gonna stay in the UK and work. Because next month I'm going away. So it's no point going away in Dubai and then going to Turkey and then going away again. So too much. So I had one week to myself, the house to myself. It was nice, peace and quiet. And it was lovely, but now they're back. Looking more tan. Your face is looking really puffy, bro. <laughs> Don't eat all that junk. Okay, so guys, so basically I've just uh, had a massage with my auntie. A full body time massage and God, she destroyed it. She was like, shh, 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 shh. by the way, guys, when you have a massage, right, it shouldn't be relaxing. If it is, then it's just pointless. It just defeats the purpose of, you know, digging into the muscle, releasing all the tightness. So, yeah, I had a full body massage. Bless her, my auntie. She was like, she did it for two hours and she said, you can't work out after today because you're not supposed to but since i'm competing uh at the end of this week on sunday i'm like oh man that's gonna be a bit hard so sorry auntie i hope you're not watching this video because i'm gonna go and do a light workout uh in the sun the weather is looking banging bro all right, I'll see you guys there. Yo guys, so I'm here at Allsit Park. I was tempted to go and work out with my friends, Raf, in London, but I thought the drive's a bit long. That'll be like 40 minutes out of my day gone. So I'm just training here. I have what I need, and it's gonna be my first set of doing one arm handstand. So let's get right into it. Oh yeah, I forgot to put this on. So, as you guys may or may not know, I have a competition literally in like, what, <laughs> six days? Yesterday I've had a relatively hard day of training. So today I'm gonna go lighter. So we're gonna keep our workout consistent, but I'm just gonna go lighter intensity. Uh, definitely gonna get my straddle planches in. Uh, I'm hoping to bust out a human flag somehow because human flag is involved in the uh, competition. I haven't trained it at all, but I think there'll be a massive carry over from the front lever. So, yeah, let's start off with one arm handstand for 20 minutes. The timer is already running, and then we'll move on to planche, front lever, and then some reps and sets. And then 20 minutes run around this beautiful park. Lovely, so blessed to be alive, man. Yo guys, I don't know if this is a lame excuse, but I'm struggling to hold a one arm handstand, especially on the par parallel bars, because the wind is just like pushing me off course, man. Uh, this has definitely provided some kind of a new stimulus. I'm able to hold it for like five seconds on the parallels on the ground. I brought my P bars, but on there for some reason, I don't know, maybe a fear factor. Uh, yeah, I'll show you now. I found out the course of why I can't hold a handstand is because I have my big running trainers on. That's why, because normally I wear Vivo barefoot and the barefoot shoes is literally like barefoot, right? There's no weight there. Whereas when I'm wearing them, it's like extra 0.5 kg on each feet, on each foot. So yeah, my shoes are off. Let's see if we can hold it on here now.
right guys, so that was the one arm handstand done. It wasn't too bad actually. Uh, I managed to do quite a few decent attempts. Got quite a rough start, but we got there in the end. Probably because of the massage as well. It's just like, you know, the release, just like my body felt weird, <laughs> but in a good way, definitely. So debate time, all right. What is your opinion on either A, working out six days a week, but you alternate between hard days and easy days, okay? So on your hard days, you'll go like 90% of your max, and then on easy day, you go between 40 to 60%. Would you rather that? Or where you do less volume, so you work out maybe four times a week, but you go super hard every single session. What do you think? I mean, there's like positive arguments and negative arguments for both but let me know your thoughts um, also i am interested in what your training split is like so please do let me know in the comment section below because it's good to learn from people you know it's good to share it's good to take in some information and that way we can become better so let me know in the comment section below all right so we're going to do some planche now i'm going to start off with a uh, warm-up because i feel i need to actually take my time to warm up so 10 seconds of tuck planche holds advanced tuck hold followed by front lever advanced up front lever hold for about 10 to 15 seconds let's do this <laughs> Okay guys, so here's the plan. I'm gonna do about five seconds straddle planche followed by a full front lever hold for about 10 seconds. I'm gonna try and mimic competition style because like, what's the point of doing straddle planche, rest, and then, you know, because in the competition we have one minute to do anything we want, static wise. So I'm gonna do just that. All right, let's put on some tunes. <laughs> You, you'll probably laugh with what I listen to when I'm working out. <laughs> it's like singing shit. All right, let's go. guys so that was the uh planche and front lever superset done i've done three sets just so that today is a light day what's up next i am not too sure <laughs> still thinking of that one what's on my mind right now is to do maybe some muscle ups i might do like a five 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 so five muscle up five straight bar dips five pull ups um what's good accessories one man i can't think but yeah, that's what I'm planning to do. So finish up statics for today. Handstand went well. And let's do some reps. Yeah, let's do some reps. So they have to con Jack and from Bid Makeup. Oh wait, that means hello. Do you wanna see me float? Let's go. I don't know what you want. Let's have a bit of fun till I downfall. My love, if you feel like I do right now. Don't say you're on the run to the other side, my love. 
Okay, so I got a little bit carried away with doing straight bar handstand. So enough messing around. What I'm gonna do is, I've made my mind up. I'm gonna do 10 muscle ups for three sets and then I'm going home. I'm gonna do some stretches, do some running and then I'll go home. All right, let's see. Let's see this. I don't know what you want. Let's have a bit of fun till I downfall. My love, if you feel like I do right now, don't say you're on the run to the other side. My love, you say you wanna try, but you never do. Sugar, there's a Oh. Thick bar is hard, bro. <laughs> Woo. All right, so while I'm resting, I'm just gonna tell you guys a little story. The life that I'm living now, right, is what I've always envisioned of growing up, you know? Throughout college, throughout university, to be free, to just work out every day, to not be restrained to one place. And that's what I have right now, you see? I'm very fortunate. I must say, but I work hard for it. I've always dreamed of being, becoming a model ever since I was a kid. My mum ingrained that into me. And the story behind that was because she had me at a young age and she always like, she said to me like, oh, she look at the ladies in the billboard. She'd be like, oh, I wish I could do that. But then she had me at a very really young age. She kind of, you know, forgo that dream. And then she was, just tells me to become a model. And here I am, you know? It was a long journey, I must say so, because I applied to many agencies from the age of 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, got rejected until last year when two agencies came back to me. But long story short, I've always envisioned, you know, evenings like this, having my own camera, making content for a living. So I just want to say, you guys can do it too. Just put your mind to it. Just, you know, have that clear mental picture of what you want to do and just go for it. Big positive affirmations to yourself as well. Here's a couple that I say to myself. I'm a rich and successful supermodel who travels all over the world and meet new and interesting people. I was saying that, right? And then a month later, my second job as a model, I flew off to Morocco to shoot for OnePlus. Okay, so affirmations help. And this is what I've learned, the, the subconscious mind can't tell the difference between right and wrong so just speak positive affirmations i always dreamed of going to uh los angeles miami to to work there and just work out whenever i want with a g-wagon in front of my drive you know the white house so that is yet to come but i'm not in a rush man honestly i'm enjoying life i'm working out and i'm just grateful you know just grateful just be happy with what you have and the universe will find a way for it to give what you want it may not come you know tomorrow next week a year 10 years it may take 20 years but just keep going the world is ticking and just enjoy life and keep going for it enough of me waffling now i'm gonna go and do my set break away forget your sober case stop telling on empty words stop stalling in the doorway and cancel the cruise control switching the manual
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So this is it for today's video. I hope you liked it. Oh, sorry, I'm out of breath. So the plan is to go for a 20 minute run. So I'll pack my stuff, put it in my car, and I'm gonna go around here, run around here in 20 minutes. The weather's still amazing. Uh, do some stretches. By the way, guys, when you hold your stretches, yeah, hold it for a minute. 10 seconds is not enough. 20 seconds, mm, 30 seconds, better. But one minute is how long you should hold your stretches for, right? Yeah, so after every single session, I stretch it out because you're battering all your muscles and then it's just gonna get tight. And your muscles won't produce as much power, plus you'll be more prone to injury. So enough of me babbling. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe so you can see more workouts videos like this one. All right, peace out, I'm gonna go for a run.